I want to talk to you today about God is your source. It's easy to look to people as our source or look to our job as our source. And yes, God uses people. He uses jobs. He uses contracts. But they are not the source. They are simply a resource that the source uses. And if you're seeing other things than God as your source, the problem is if something happens to them, you'll think, what am I going to do? The source has been cut off. No, the source is just fine. God is still on the throne. And the scripture says that every good gift comes from our Father in heaven above. That good gift may come through people, but it came from God. Your salary may come through your company, but it came from your heavenly Father. He's the one that caused them to hire you. He's the one that caused you to stand out. He's using them as a resource. Or that contract may come through a friend, through a connection, but it came from God. That's why you don't have to play up to people, compromise to get a good break. People are not your provider. God is your provider. That job is simply the resource God chose to bless you. And if you don't understand this, you can make people your God. Well, if this supervisor doesn't like me, if this contract doesn't last, if these clients are not good to me, how am I going to make it? Take people off the throne. People are not your source. God is your source. And yes, it's good when people are nice to you. It's nice when they recognize your value. But don't become so dependent on them that you start seeing them as your provider. Recognize behind the resource is the source. Behind the salary, behind the opportunity, behind the favor is the Most High God causing people to be good to you, causing doors to open, causing clients to seek you out. Be grateful for the resource, but keep your eyes on the source. When Peter didn't have money to pay his taxes, Jesus told him to go to the lake and catch a fish. The first fish he caught had a gold coin in it, enough to pay his taxes. God was showing us how he can use different resources. If a contract at work comes to an end, looks like you're going to be set back, don't be discouraged. God has another fish. He has ways that we've never thought of. As long as you're keeping him first place, you are connected to a supply line that will never run dry. You are not at the mercy of the economy or your boss or who likes you. God has all kinds of resources he can use. I talked to a man. After 32 years, the company he worked for was sold. He was without a job, and he was so discouraged. He never dreamed at his age he would have to be starting over. I told him what I'm telling you. That job was simply the resource that God chose to bless you. It is not the source. The source is fine. I saw him about six months later, and he was so happy. He said, Joel, I not only got another job, I got my dream job. Had better benefits, better income, closer to his house. When a door closes, you go through a setback, you have to remind yourself, it's not the resource blessing you, it's the source. The scripture says, you will prosper even in the desert. Your leaf will not wither. Even in famine, you will have more than enough. It's showing us that even though the circumstances may change, the source never changes. And because you're connected to that source, you will be blessed in the famine. You will increase when others are decreasing. All through the day, Lord, I recognize you're the source of my life. Yes, this job gives me a paycheck, but you're the source of the income. Yes, this company gave me a good position, but you're the source of the favor. In the scripture, Ruth and her mother-in-law were both widows. They were very poor, struggling to survive. Ruth would go out into the fields each morning and pick up the leftover wheat that the workers had missed. One day, the owner of the field, a man named Boaz, noticed Ruth, and for some reason, he decided to be good to her. He told his workers to leave handfuls of wheat on purpose for Ruth. Eventually, Ruth found out it was him. I can hear her telling her mother-in-law, this man Boaz, this owner, he's being so good to me. He's leaving me so much wheat. Ruth thought it was Boaz being good to her. The truth is, it was God being good to her. 
Boaz was the resource, but God was the source. God was the one speaking to Boaz, giving him that desire to be good to her. How many times has God spoken to people to be good to us and we didn't even know it? For no reason, they decided to help us. They opened a door. They gave us a position. They introduced us to a friend. They were a resource that the source was using. And the longer I live, the more I recognize God's goodness in my life. Things that I thought were a coincidence, I thought were people just wanting to be good to me, I realize now it was the source. Doors that opened that you couldn't open. Somebody decided to give you a good break. You were at the right place at the right time, met that person and fell in love. That wasn't a coincidence, that was the source. That person that put in a good word for you, you got the promotion. You weren't lucky, that was God speaking to them like he spoke to Boaz. Every good thing comes from our Father above. They may not have even known it was God speaking to them. They just suddenly had a desire to be good to you, to stay late and introduce you to the client, to waive the policy and put the loan through. Are you recognizing the source? Are you thanking God for every good gift? Do you realize you wouldn't have waken up this morning without the source? You wouldn't have air to breathe without the source? Your eyes wouldn't see without the source. You wouldn't have that person to love without the source. Don't get so caught up in the resources that you forget it's the most high God working in your life. It's God protecting you from that accident. It was God healing you from the cancer. Not just the medicine, it was the source. When you look back over your life, nothing was a coincidence. There were no lucky breaks. What you thought was just Boaz being good to you, leaving you handfuls on purpose, that was the hand of God, the source working behind the scenes, telling them to be good to you.